Hey family, welcome to I Love Me Me Me. Today we were discussing the 100 relationship pet peeves. We're going to run right through it. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back family. So again, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the 100 relationship pet peeves starting now. All right, number one, people that do not keep their word. Number two, People that are not on time. Number three, people that only take, 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 take. They're takers. Number four, people that just complain all the time. Number five, people don't think that my time is valuable. Number six, people that just talk, 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 and don't listen. Number seven, people that just do not compromise. They think that the world revolves around them. It's all about them. Number eight, the lack of communication. Number nine, the differences in communication styles, such as someone leaving out key information that they should have told you. And when it does finally come out, you're like, wait a minute, what? Where did that come from? Number 10, being late. Number 11, not respecting my me time. I need that. Number 12, not being publicly affectionate. I'm not saying overly affectionate, but hold my hand. Give me a kiss on the cheek. Give me a kiss on the lips. Give me some affection out in public. Number 13, you leaving that stupid toilet seat up so I can fall in. Yes, you, gentlemen. Yes, you. Number 14, not knowing my love language. Number 15, when we do not agree on how to discipline the children. Number 16, when your partner is on social media too doggone much. Number 17, when you just rude and disrespectful. Number 18, just burns me up. Having to re-clean the kitchen. Stay out of the kitchen once it's clean. Number 19, lying for no reason at all. Just lying. You lying for GP? Number 20, you being a negative Nancy all the time. Number 21, you hogging the blankets all the time. Number 22, you snore. You can snore up a damn storm. 23, you farting in the bed all the time. Stop farting. Number 24, when you let the pets sleep in the bed. Number 25, when you eat in the bed. 26, when you just eat so loud. Number 27, when you put that juice carton back in the refrigerator when only a sip in it. Number 27, when you leave those dirty underwear balled up inside of other dirty clothing. Take them out. Number 29, when you repeat that same joke over and over and over and over and over and over again. Get a new damn joke. Number 30, when you leave that toilet paper roll, that empty one, that is, on the toilet paper roll. Just put a new one on there. Number 31, when you making all the noise that you can make when I'm still asleep. Number 32, you decided to sleep on the couch knowing good and doggone well you were sleepy, but you didn't want to walk 20 feet to the bed. Number 33, you misplaced the remote. Number 34, you hogging all of the parking spaces. Number 35, you squeezing the toothpaste from the middle instead of starting from the bottom. Number 36, you just talking way too much when a movie is playing. Number 37, you got bad hygiene. 38, you are super indecisive. 39, you bullying the waiter. 40, you say you don't want anything, but then you eating off my plate. You food pirate. 41, you improperly loading the dishwasher. And I know you're good at puzzles. So why are you only putting three dishes in there? Spray it all out. 42, when you do not ask to borrow my razor, my toothbrush, or even my towel. 43, you decide to change the temperature in the room without even asking. That's not polite. 44, you repeatedly hitting that snooze button. Now I'm woke. Number 45, you Facebook over sharing all of our private pictures without my consent. 46, you are just controlling the remote too much. Can you share it with me? It's not just your remote. Please. Number 47, 
you are starting to try to have a serious conversation when I'm getting ready to walk out the door. 48, you are leaking critical plots from the movie or in the book I'm about to read. Thank you. 49, instead of foreplay, you decide to tap my shoulder. Number 50, you are forgetting the special holidays and then say that it's too commercialized. Number 51, you letting that dog lick all in your mouth and on your face. 52, you leaving all that hair in the sink after you have shaved. 53, you leaving all those nasty tissues everywhere around the house. 54, you stop having sex regularly. 55, you giving me the silent treat. 56, you being unappreciative. 57, you compare our relationship to any and everybody else's. 58, you still too friendly with your exes. 59, you saying I'm fine when you're clearly not. 60, you walking away literally during a fight. 61, you acting different when your friends and family come around. Nah. 62, you sharing all my flaws with all of your friends. 63, you're too damn clingy. 64, you refusing to help with any of the chores. 65, you complaining about all of my flaws to all of your people. 66, you are not apologizing or just don't know how to apologize. 67, you acting too jealous. 68, you putting all your friends before our romance. 69, you refusing to help. 70, you trying to change your partner. 71, you not making time for sex any longer. 72, you being too controlling. 73, you saying, I told you so. 74, you not making time to talk about the issues. We need to talk about them. 75, you ditching your partner. 76, you being selfish. 76, you impatient with the kids. 77, you not paying attention when I'm asking you to do something. 79, you taking too much time getting ready. 80, you being super insecure about your appearance. 81, you wearing those high heels, knowing good and doggone well you can't walk in them. <laughs> 82, leaving those underwear balled up. 83, you don't never fill up your gas tank. 84, you forget to tell me that friends are on the way. 85, you got some double standards in you. You, you got some double standards in you. 86, you putting all this water on the floor after the shower. When the towel is right there, just take the towel down, put it on the ground, and step on the towel. 87, you putting water everywhere around the sink after you have washed your hands and or your face without cleaning it up. 88, put the toothpaste cap back on. 89, you using my washcloth. Why? 90, you just not open about what's bothering you. 91, you just don't want to share what's bothering you. 92, you holding everything in. 93, after you hold everything in, then you want to blow up on me about everything. 94, if you a smoker, why you expect the ashtray to empty itself? 95, you just mutter all the doggone time why I can't understand you. And then you get mad that I can't understand you. 96, you letting all those dishes pile up in the sink. 97, you let me pay for everything. I ain't got money like that. You never even offered. 98, you super negative and pessimistic about everything. 99, you know I had to pee, but you didn't went in there and stunk up the bathroom. Thank you. My 100 relationship pet peeve is just talking just to hear yourself talk. Why? Give me a break. All right, family, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 make sure that you give me a thumbs up, especially if you enjoyed this content. Go ahead and hit the icon so you can subscribe to Team I Love Me, 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 where we are dramatically decreasing the divorce rate here. I will see you guys in the next video. Two-finger salute.